Hey everybody, it's me, Stacy Wells. Um, I got my door shut. I'm back. I've been out for a little while um, working on stained glass. And uh, I hadn't done any painting videos in a couple of weeks now. It's been a long time. But I missed it and I missed you guys and checking in and talking about our stuff. And so I figured I better get back in here and you know, do what I like to do. Um, and I have some new friends, and I want to make them some things. You know, I want to do that for my friends. If I like, you know, find somebody that I like, I, you know, that I, I think would appreciate it in any way. Um, I'll not just throw it in the closet. Uh, and then I'll make them something. If they're a really good friend, I'll make them some glass. Um, if they're a so-so friend, I mean, a, a, a good friend, um, or a friend I'm not sure about yet, they get a painting. But if they're a real good friend, they get glass. That's how, I'm, how I decide. And sometimes they get upgraded. Like they get a painting at first and then I decide I like them a lot better and they get glass. I know, it's funny. I have a hierarchy. <laughs> anyway, I've, um, I've missed making videos. I've missed having somebody to talk to about my art. Um, and you know, I don't know what happened. I got in kind of a swamp there for about a week. I just didn't do anything. And I don't know why, you know, I mean, sometimes you just, for some reason, uh, inspiration goes away. And when that happens, I don't, you know, I got some things I do to try to get it back, but sometimes it just won't come back until it's ready, you know? And it scares me because I think maybe it never will and I won't be able to work anymore. And then I spiral, then I go nuts. <laughs> but I have to stop myself and realize I'm being crazy that I will always do this. And, um, uh, you know, it's just, that's just the way it goes. Um, so we got this flip clip I'm going to do. These are greens, purples, and blues. Because that's the colors that my friend likes. And I'm going to do this first cup because I'm probably out of practice. And this one doesn't have as much in it. I'm going to spill stuff everywhere today. I'm going to be a big mess maker, I bet. Yeah, I got, I got, it's been so long, I started to just mix my paint, glue, and flow troll all at one time, and I never do that, you know, I always mix my glue and paint first, and then mix in the flow troll, but, um, it's been a long time, um, and I've learned something interesting about flow troll today, um, some of you may already know this, part of it is just sort of commonsensical, I guess, but there's a real good chance that this whole painting is going to be a total shit storm, because, there's a real good chance that that flow troll is not good because it's kind of been there for a long time and um, I don't think the lid was on it real good. And I noticed when I was pouring, uh, I think it was the phthalo blue, I noticed this awful smell. I mean, it smells awful. It smells like sour milk, kind of. So I'd already poured all of it, so I don't want to just throw it out. You know, I don't know what it's going to do. Um, it might work fine. It might just develop a funny smell and not really hamper the way it functions. Or like I said, it might be a total shoe thing. I don't know. We'll just see. Um, wow, the angle is so hard to get on that last one. Boy, I did good. Uh, anyway, these have got greens, blues, and purples in them. I got some deco art amethyst in there. I have, uh, some ultramarine blue um, by Liquitex, Thalo blue by Master Touch, turquoise by Liquitex, Thalo green by Liquitex because that's my favorite Thalo green, Dioxazine purple, Liquitex, and uh, Prussian blue, also Liquitex, and lime green, also Liquitex. Just a minute, please. Just a minute. What is it? I'm right in the middle of something. What is it? Okay, all right, bye. It never fails. I can go for weeks. I have gone now for weeks without being in this room with that door closed. The first day, all day today, nobody cares where I am or what I'm doing. I walk in here and I'm not even barely getting started. They are knocking on my damn door. It never fails. It happens every time I come in here, just about. I mean, not every time I make a video, but pretty often. Often enough that it just gets all under my skin. 
You know, I mean, I'm out there most of the time. Talk to me when I'm out there. Why you gotta wait till I come in here? And I'm obviously talking to my people. Oh, the household situation is cranky today. It's just kind of cranky in general. You know, this quarantine thing, we're not still quarantined, like, per se, but still people try to stay at home as much as they can, more than we used to, you know. And it takes a toll on you. I mean, it's hard to be around the same people every day, day in and day out, you know, without much of a break. You know, it gets like fingernails on a chalkboard to me after a while. It's hard. Well, let's see what we got here, y'all. I'm anxious to see what that <laughs> possibly tainted flow trawl did. <laughs> I know one thing, it's pretty thick. I thought about diluting it all, but I didn't because I haven't painted in, you know, a couple of weeks and I was thinking, no, you're just second guessing the consistency. It's probably fine. Um, and if you go screw around with it, you're gonna mess it up. So I decided to leave it alone. I'm glad I did, that's beautiful. Yeah, we'll just see if it, it's selling up good. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, so I don't think so. I mean, unless it makes it explosive or something, it's fixing to catch fire. <laughs> I don't see anything. Um, all that out of the ordinary. In back, that's, those are some pretty cells. That last one here, I love. That's beautiful. And that lime green always looks really pretty up next to that Prussian blue. It's just one of my favorite color combinations. And that's selling up like crazy. Maybe I need to taint my flow draw from now on. You know, maybe we all need to. I think what it is, actually, um, I put, um, well, at this particular point, there are a pair of lace panties that I don't wear anymore um, that I cut up. But some kind of lace or um, hose work best, but um, I wasn't going to go out and buy some just to use for that, and I don't have any more because nobody wears those anymore. Um, anyway, if you cut up hose or you cut up something made out of lace or whatever and put it over the spout to your flow troll and get a rubber band and wrap that around it to hold it on, then it will self-filter. Um, you can filter your flow trawl as you're pouring it out. Instead of doing all that straining and bucket to bucket and all that kind of crazy shit, you don't have to do that. But I think what happens is the flow trawl that gets into the lace and especially around the edges under the rubber band sours. And that's what I was smelling. Um, that's, in, that's the most probable, you know, uh, thing that happened. Although... This stuff doesn't, say, this seems awful thick. And I didn't do anything different in the mixing consistency-wise um, than I normally do. But I don't know, it's looking good. You know, I like the way it looks. So, uh, but I'm just saying, it, it does seem sort of thick. Anyway, that may just be me, um, you know, because I've been kind of out of the, out of practice or whatever, not used to. I've been around my consistencies in a, in a little while. This is really beautiful. And it usually takes me several, several, when I do these for friends, I do several rounds. You know, I do several versions uh, with different techniques usually. And I did that really fast. I need to learn to do that slower. But, God, that's really pretty. Um... I'm going to pour some of this paint off, but that is really awesome, I think. I love it. Man, I've missed painting. Jeez. I have missed this, and that is so beautiful. We just have to pour some off so it won't craze all over the place. I don't know, part of it was I got to, I guess I got a little discouraged because I can't go to the farmer's market right now. Um, because it's too hot and my heart doesn't like all that. Kind of is too stressful for my heart. So I can't get out there. And uh, so I haven't been selling anything. And, you know, all this stuff is just kind of stacked up around the house. And, you know, I thought, well, well, you know, nobody really gives a shit about what I'm doing. Uh, you know, look at all of it just stacked up everywhere. And, you know, there's just so much. Um, I have so many pieces. You know, I thought, I, I need to just stop for a while. Anyway, um, 
that is the that is depression talking is what that is just a minute Colton can y'all please it a minute um I, I believe that was probably um there were a couple of days when I messed up and forgot to take my bill of thigh. And uh, if I screw up with my psych meds, it's not a good thing. I mean, I take a bill of thigh on Lexapro because I have depression. And I've talked about that on here. Um, and uh, I screwed up and missed, didn't take it for a couple of days. Don't ask me why because there's no logical answer to that. Um, I was really tired and I just didn't feel like looking for it. I think I was just being lazy. And I know better because I know what will happen to me. I get like that where I'll start thinking, well, you know, nobody really cares about any of this and what am I bothering? And it's just stacking up all over the house. And, and, and you know, it makes it hard for you. It makes it easy to lose sight of the most basic reason why we do this. I don't do it to sell it. I don't do it for other people. I like to sell it, and I like if other people like what I do. Um, I do it because it keeps me sane, because it makes me better able to cope with life, because it makes me a better person, because I enjoy it, you know? Um, and that's why I was just telling somebody at um, Hobby Lobby, you know, talking about, she said, oh, I wish I could do that, stained glass and stuff, I wish I could do that, and I said, well, you know, I teach people, and it's not really all that difficult technique-wise to learn how to do it. Now, whether or not you're going to be good at putting colors together with glass and choosing uh, patterns and designs and all that, I don't know. Um, that's where the artistry comes in. Um, but then again, that isn't, that isn't really what's important anyway. To me, um, did you enjoy doing it is what's important. You know, are you having fun? Does it liberate you? Does it make you feel free? Does it make you happy? Um, and, and do you like your results? You know, if, if you don't like them, then I can try to help you with that. Um, if you're worried about them because you think somebody else doesn't like them, well, you just need to get over that. Because, you know, to me, uh, this isn't about other people's reactions. You know, it's not about what I can do for them or whatever. I hope that it makes people happy and they enjoy it and uh, it's stimulating and uh, inspiring and all of that stuff. But the truth, the honest truth about it is it's a, it's a lot more selfish than that. I do it because it's good for me. Um, it inspires me. It makes me um, want to get up in the morning, you know. Uh, be more motivated, be happier, you know. Uh, it's probably one of the reasons I've been so cranky around here. I just, you know, I need a, an artful outlet in my life. I need to do something artistic every day. It's just like taking my antidepressants. You know, just like taking medicine. If I don't do it, I'm going to suffer. And there's no reason not to do it. I don't know. Um, just no reason. Anyway, you'll notice I didn't use base coat because I don't. Um, that's where my pendulum has swung at this particular moment. Um, I used to always use one, and then I decided to stop. Um, I decided they were wasteful and time-consuming, and that, um, I'd be better served saving that paint, saving that money, you know, whatever. Um. And so I have stopped using them on uh, flip cups and well, everything except um, obviously open cup pours. Um, and it's been working fine. What I was just doing is that sometimes cells will break through all the way down to the canvas. And when that happens, I just get a little bit off the edges and dab it on there and cover them up. Um, and then it, I, I have not, not yet, not once had one dry badly because of that. As long as I correct it here, um, it doesn't affect the drying. It, in other words, other ones don't appear after, you know, I'll, I take it off the table in here. Um, those are, they will pop up a couple of them sometimes, 
right out of our pores. And uh, I just dab the paint on there. They go away. They don't come back, you know. So it's not much to do. It's not hard work. It's no big deal. Um, and it saves me money and time with the base coat, I think. So um, I swung my pendulum that direction into that line of thinking about six months ago. And I have not gone back and started putting down base coats again. I think it's incredibly wasteful. Um, and the only ill effect I've seen by not using them is what I just explained. Sometimes the cell will go all the way through the canvas. You dab a little paint on it, problem solved. Other than that, I understand, of course, that we want our paint to move. And somebody could make an argument that without a base coat, my paint doesn't move as fluidly as it would if there was a base coat. I don't know whether that's true or not. I just know that I like the results I get doing it the way I'm doing it. And that's the way it is about everything that I talk about on here. And this is all according to my experience and my uh, results, my interpretations, and how I feel about it at that at any given moment. Because I change my mind about stuff sometimes. But I don't ever just take somebody's word for how something ought to be done. I experiment and try to figure out what way works best for me. And that's what I give you on this channel, is just my perspective. Uh, I, I don't claim to be perfect or to know everything or even most things. Um, I just do what I do, and I'll tell you how I do it. And if you if you like it and, and you want to learn to do it, then I, I will help you any way I can. Um, if you don't like it or you think I'm doing something wrong, you can tell me and we can talk about it or you can just quit watching, <laughs> frankly, because um, I'm going to do what I do. But I appreciate you watching. I love having people watch and message me and uh, the comments. And I've met several wonderful people over Facebook that I talk to um, on my phone every, you know, a couple of days or something. Hey, what are you working on? You know, uh, check in with each other and help each other out and stuff. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, I said Facebook a minute ago. I meant YouTube. Um, but I have met people on Facebook the same way. Um, you know, because I encourage people to contact me. Um, if you want to talk about art, if you have questions, if you have problems, if you uh, just want to say hi, uh, how's it going in East Texas? And I'll tell you there's lots of rednecks and it's going fine. Nothing against rednecks. I didn't say that. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I really enjoy the fact that you're listening, that you're out there, and that I have somebody to talk to. Um, that's helpful for me. And uh, I love to talk about art with um, everybody. Um, so, anyway, uh, let's see here. Um, let me let you look at this up close. I don't have my bright light on, um, and I don't... Partly because I didn't get the camera thing positioned in a good place. But the main reason is um, the bright light sometimes makes more of a glare than I already have. And I have a pretty bad glare. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love this piece. I'm so excited. I hope y'all like it too. Um, I may not have to do more versions. I think this is the one. How about that? That's the first time that's ever happened, that I've been on a quest to make one for a friend and that I get it right the first time, because I don't usually do that. I usually go through about five different uh, options, using, you know, a flip cup here, an open cup there, you know, I do different techniques until I settle on something. Um, I'm showing you again because I just want to look at it again, especially like right in here, that pretty green it's almost teal looking now anyway um this has been a longer video because i missed y'all um thank y'all for joining me i i do so appreciate you being here and um giving my life purpose and everything um it's great to have y'all around and uh, do message me do email me um do tell me whatever's on your mind ask me questions um whatever, you know, um, let me know if your float rolls ever started stinking like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I solved the mystery. I'm pretty sure it's just around the rubber band because this result is, is not tainted, not bad. Um, you know, so I don't think it did anything wrong to it. It just didn't smell very good. 
and uh, it's all over my hands. So I'm gonna go wash that off because it's kind of disgusting. Um, and frankly, the smell's starting to get to me a little bit. Anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for being here. Join me next time. If you're into stained glass, I got stained glass videos too, some tutorials and all that kind of stuff. So um, check them out. Anyway, y'all have a great day. God bless you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, love y'all.